Hello, my fellow gargoyles. Scourge the gargoyle here. That's right. This is the face reveal. Ha <laughs> ha. Even though it shouldn't really be a face reveal, considering, you know, there's montages on my face anyway. But, hey, it's fine. So, yes, we're going to be reacting to the Pokemon Presents. Oh, man. February 27th, 2022. Here we go. Pokemon Day. It's going to be starting real soon. So, without further ado, let's get into it. I would be disappointed if there is no Gen 9. If they just decide, oh, let's do some remakes again. I'm like, you guys just did Pokemon Diamond and... Uh, Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. So, let's see what happens. But right, here we go. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's do this. <laughs> oh, alright. Let me put this in. Okay, that was cute. Hello, what the hell? I'm Pikachu Mishima moves! Hi! <laughs> Today, February 27th, is the date the Pokemon Red and Pokemon Green games were released in Japan, mm -hmm. marking the beginning of the Pokemon series. 26 years, my lord. We've now reached our 26th year since the birth of Pokemon, <laughs> thanks to the support of all you trainers around the world. God damn, look at the fucking stuff in the background. Thank you. Each and every one of you. Well, thank you. Today, we would like to present the latest updates on a number of games. So I hope you'll watch to the very end. A number of games? <laughs> Mr. Utsunomiya, please take it away. Oh, hell no! Look at your moves! Oh, hell no! Allow me to jump straight into sharing the latest God, updates. Look at all those damn things. First is an update on Pokemon Go. Ah, okay. Some that I don't play, but hey. Some for you guys, I guess. Ah. Okay, time for the friggin' uh, Alola version, yes. Oh wow, that was it. <laughs> Pokemon that first appeared in the Alola region of the Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon games will be appearing in the world of Pokemon Go beginning March 1st. Damn. Until then, Alolan Executor will be appearing in Pokemon Go. We hope you'll try catching them for yourself. Now, good luck with that. <laughs> now, I'd like to share some news about a few of our other games. We got Pokemon Unite. Oh, this too. God almighty, I can't believe this is still around. This February, Pokemon Masters EX celebrates its two and a half year anniversary. Right now, as far as trainers go, there are... Over 142 in total that you can team up with. Holy shit! Powerful sync pairs from many regions have assembled on Victory Road, our newest feature. Uh -huh. By completing Victory Road, not only can you team up with Cygna Suit Red, Cygna Suit Blue, or Cygna Suit Leaf, but you can also receive 5,000 gems. Starting tomorrow, May and Latias arrive, with May in a special outfit. This sync pair can turn the field of play into psychic terrain, powering up all psychic type sync pairs. Skyla and Tornadus also debut, with Skyla in a special outfit. Yeah, okay. This sync pair can turn the field of play into a flying zone. They're skilled <laughs> at supporting flying types and using interference Nice dress. Components. And there's more. You'll also be seeing Raihan and Flygon, with Raihan in a special outfit. With moves like uh, sorry, son of a gun. I, I never characters. liked Raihan. <laughs> to celebrate the two and a half year anniversary of Pokemon Masters EX, players now have the chance to scout up to 100 sync pairs at no cost. But that's not all. Ah, if you log into the game after this presentation ends, you can receive a present of 3,000 gems as our latest campaign begins. We have a variety of other content lined up as well. I haven't played that game in over, play over a year. Yes. Maybe more. Miss out. Just stop caring about it. This thing is getting a fucking update. Okay. Pokemon Cafe Remix. The puzzle game where you mix I, and I would play this, but I hate the fact that it's only like uh, new way to play. It's not dark. I hate that it's not dark. I would play more of this, but I don't. At Pelipper's destinations, you'll have the chance to meet Pokemon that are new. I mean, it's adorable. Don't get me wrong. It really is. Gather new special outfits and unlock hidden specialty gimmicks that give you an edge in puzzles. 
The mythical Pokemon Victini appears for the first time in Pokemon Cafe Remix during your deliveries. Its powerful skill will be very helpful in the new puzzle mode coming early 2022. Deliver drinks and dishes to Victini to have it join your staff. Additionally, there will be three events to celebrate Pokemon Day. The first event is Bulbasaur's Happy Pokemon Day. There will be a seven-day special login bonus, and on your first login, you can get Bulbasaur's limited-time celebratory crown outfit. For the second event, there is an increased chance of Shiny Piplup appearing. Starting now, for four days, Shiny Piplup will have a greatly increased chance of showing up at your cafe. Use this opportunity to have it join your staff. Even shinies the in the day, game? What the hell? You can an 11 times express okay. delivery item at no cost. We'll give you the chance to try out the new delivery feature 11 times. You won't want to miss this. As the second anniversary of the game approaches this June, get ready to welcome tons of new Pokemon to the cafe. Have fun playing Pokemon Cafe Remix on both Nintendo Switch systems and smart devices. Yeah, that's great. Let's get to the better stuff now. Oh my god, fucking Pokemon Unite. I've never touched this thing yet. Since Pokemon Unite launched last July, lots of Pokemon have joined the fray. Together with unique Pokemon like Dragonite, Aegislash, or Greedent, form a team and battle. Fire off your Pokemon's moves over and over in new, intense, limited time battles. Full Fury Battles, added today, February 22nd. You can try out any Pokemon in Standard Battles and Quick Battles on special days posted on the official Pokemon Unite website. Hmm. Furthermore, there oh. is a Pokemon Day event happening right now in Pokemon Unite. Uh -huh. The mythical Pokemon Hoopa uh -huh. joins the roster during this event. Hoopa can warp ally Pokemon to other locations. Use blindsiding team tactics to get the drop on the opposing team. Yeah, but... Using Hoopa's Unite move, turn into Hoopa Unbound and go wild. Never mind. While the Pokemon Day event is going on, all <coughs> players can try out Hoopa. Clear all special missions, and you can obtain Hoopa's Unite license. All players that log in now will receive commemorative Pokemon Day trainer fashion items. <laughs> Use this Pokemon Day event as a chance to experience the heated battles in Pokemon Unite. And finally, enjoy a preview of the next Pokemon that is slated to join Pokemon Unite in the future. Please continue to look forward to more content in the future in Pokemon Unite, available on Nintendo Switch and mobile devices. Yay, the Skyscraper Pokemon. <laughs> to share some news about the Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl games. What? What? Why? What? Why those games? Oh shit, this is the Arceus area. And Shaman. Huh. Not I was not expecting Shaman there. Shaman was in the Soon, Flora send out Oak Town. Fire, an item that will allow know. you to encounter the mythical Pokemon Shaman within Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. You'll be able to claim this item as a mystery gift later, <laughs> after this presentation ends. You can add Shaman to your team and enjoy exploring the Sinnoh region together. Mm, okay. Next up. We have some news about the Pokemon Legends Arceus game. Ooh, okay, this is, uh, DLC here. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Much laxism, okay. Zoras. Oh, god, there's a lot more Pokemon they're gonna add. Probably in the wild, anyway. Oh, Jesus! What the hell? A lot of alphas around. Arceus, okay. Anything... Software update. Daybreak? What the hell? 
I thought I thought we were looking at like paid DLC. Oh hi friends. Okay. We are pleased to announce the Daybreak update for Pokemon Legends Arceus, which will be available to players at no cost. Okay, that's we'll cool. We'll begin a new investigation into a curious phenomenon that is causing mass outbreaks of Pokemon across the Hisui region. You'll also be able to engage in new Pokemon battles together with your ally Pokemon at the training grounds. The Daybreak update will be available later, after this presentation ends. Hmm. And as a Pokemon Day gift, we'd like to offer you some items that should come in handy on your adventure. Please enter the provided password in your game to claim this gift. That stuff will go we go quick. To enjoy your adventures in the Hisui region. Okay. One more thing. One more. We are pleased to announce that production of an online animated series set in the Hisui region has begun. What? This series will feature an original storyline and is anticipated to launch later in 2022. Oh. Please wait for future announcements to learn more. Okay. What did you think? We hope you all look forward to how Pokemon games will continue to evolve in the future. Uh. We've shared with you today the latest information about a variety of our games. Uh oh. But to wrap things up, we'd oh. like to end this presentation by with sharing one more video. A Gen 9. Gen 9. Thank you for tuning in. I was about to say, they were going to end this with no Gen 9 news. That would have been a bad thing. Alright, uh, yeah. Five Nights at Pika's? <laughs> uh, wait, no, this is supposed to be a... De is this Detective Pikachu number two? Dear God, is this how they want to end this with? Detective Pikachu 2? Or no? No, maybe it is Gen 9. I don't know why it tilted my head slightly that way. He's in an antique shop? Oh, is he gonna time travel? Um. Oh! Oh my God! Okay. I didn't expect actual fucking gameplay footage. Okay. I may help. Oh, Stoneger. Yo, okay. It's a Viper, yo. <laughs> okay, this is cool right now. Oh my god, that looks great. Yeah, this is Gen 9. God damn, look at this place. Series releasing late 2022. I was assuming November because that's how they always done it. Wow. 
Ooh, those stutters don't look that great. <laughs> no. I do like the like, leafy kitty. Am I really going to go another goddamn grass type? I, there, oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is it. Ooh. I did not. Wow. Okay. You know, let's go back. I want to go back. Okay, so I'm looking up. There's the fucking picture. What in the world is this? St what is the starter design? What is this? Okay, I can see a lot of people going straight to the grass starter. That is an adorable grass starter. Then you got a ridiculous looking water duck. And I'm assuming some water T. Or not water fucking fire T Rex apple dragon thing. <laughs> I don't I don't know. I mean so far I like the grass daughter. Why am I going to straight to grass daughters? Usually I don't go for the cute ones to be honest. But yeah, this is the fucking so far the grass daughter looks the best right now. I mean obviously probably gonna go with the cute one. I I don't I don't like the looks of the fire or the, or the water one. <laughs> And I was thinking to myself, maybe I could finally go back to the fire starter. No, no, sir. No, sir. You ain't going back to the fire starter. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe. Maybe we'll see how they look at the very end. And of course, people will spoil what the hell they look like, and that's probably much when I'm going to decide. Because now we got Scarlet, and now Violet. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yo, Zook. What's up? Look, man, Scarlet and Violet's gonna be me and you on that one. Wait, seriously? Oh, yeah. I mean, right now, you know, me and uh, Chippy's got the <clears throat> Brilliant Diamond and uh, Shiny Pearl, right? Yeah, what about it? Well, since we gotta do that, and of course there's the other games, whatever, but now that leaves for me and you with the new ones. I'm taking Scarlet and you're taking Violet. Alright, nice. Let's do this. I mean, so far I like the fire starter. Yeah, I mean, I like the grass starter, but we'll see what they look like at the end. Alright, I'm game. God almighty, this is gonna be fucking goddamn interesting. Because, I mean, it's, I don't know, I mean, as I said, I'm looking at these starters and, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Because, I mean, right now, yeah, the leaf. The leaf starter has got me so far. Um, God almighty. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping to God that this game is going to have a lot of Pokemon. But of course, again, I see a lot of old Pokemon in that game. I mean, I was just memorized by how the Pokemon look and of course how the whole area looks. And I'm just thinking to myself that this is going to be great. But my problem is right now is how bad uh, my head's going to be like, oh crap, they're showing all the old Pokemon. This is not good. Because <laughs> when you show old Pokemon, then you know that new uh, Pokemon roster is going to be not great. It's just not great. Unless they're showing some old Pokemon that might evolve later on. Who knows? Who knows? Um... So that's going to be interesting. That is going to be interesting. But alright, that's going to do it for this uh, reaction of Pokemon Presents. Um, of course, not a lot of big reactions for me because, I mean, I don't play Pokemon Unite. I don't play Pokemon Go. I don't play Pokemon EX. Um, for a second, I thought, th I thought this was going to be like po uh, Detective Pikachu 2 trailer considering, you know, uh, hearing rumors about that. But, um, hmm, excuse me. Um, but no, it turned out to be the Gen 9. I'm like, oh, thank you. But, uh, God almighty. I, I, I can't I can't stop looking at the, at the starters right now. I'm just thinking to myself, what is up with the starters? Because, I mean, it looks like the water type Pokemon. It looks like it's trying to be a Yakuza kind of member. I don't know. With the stupid hair he's got going up here. Um, this thing's probably going to end up being a water flying type. I mean, the fire type looks like it might be a fire dragon in the end. I mean, it could. It looks interesting, I would say. And probably just stay up, maybe a grass fairy in the end for uh, this cat. 
who knows? We'll see. I mean, we definitely know when E3 comes, we're going to see more of these guys and hopefully more new Pokemon. And then more along the way. Definitely before the game comes out, uh, you know there's going to be like, alright, here's the full evolutions. Take your pick. I'm like, shit, yeah. So yeah, that's going to be interesting how this game's going to play out. But that's going to do it for me. This is the first reaction. Hopefully I'll do more in the future. I will be... <laughs> I need to make a video to make an announcement of doing more things like that. But anyway, until then, my fellow gargoyles, see you guys next time.